As the core of the Navy team, China has been studying the protection of aircraft carriers since a long time ago. Therefore, although aircraft carriers have fleets and other protections, they will certainly withstand the enemy's most powerful firepower as a target of the highest value. Coverage density and how to improve the survivability of aircraft carriers are the most critical aspects of the design of aircraft carrier weapon systems. In the past few years, judging from the speed at which Chinese ships are built in batches, the Chinese Navy is advancing by leaps and bounds in the world. The news of China's new aircraft carrier has been reported frequently before. Which means that China's maritime military strength is increasing day by day, and the Chinese Navy has become a powerful maritime force that cannot be underestimated. As we all know, the manpower and material resources required to build an aircraft carrier are huge, and it is difficult for ordinary countries to afford it. The importance of aircraft carriers in wars is self-evident, so how do we ensure the safety of such a huge aircraft carrier in actual combat? Generally speaking, aircraft carriers go to sea with battle groups as the unit, and destroyers, aircraft-borne aircraft, etc. will be dispatched. The purpose of these pioneers is to ensure that the aircraft carrier can survive military combat unscathed. Of course, for the aircraft carrier itself, in addition to the blessing of these external forces, the more important thing is the protection capabilities of its own equipment. Although compared with other weapons, the near defense guns equipped on the aircraft carrier are not eye-catching, but they are very important. The 1130 close-in gun equipped on the Liaoning ship is known as the last line of defense for the Chinese aircraft carrier. Although China's improved 730 system is more advanced and complete than other countries' near gun systems, it is still not enough to protect such an important maritime target as an aircraft carrier. For this reason, China proposed a plan to modify the 730. Based on the 730 system, China proposed the design concept of the 1130 system and named it the HPJ-11 Short Range Defense System. The improved 1130 system has 11 barrels and fires 30mm ammunition, hence the name 1130. The emergence of the 1130 system makes China far surpass the United States and Russia in the near air defense system. The near defense gun is the last line of defense in the aircraft carrier's defense system, used for long-range military strikes against enemy forces that have broken through the escort fleet. So what are the characteristics of the 1130 system as the world's strongest near defense gun? The number of 1130 barrels has been increased to 11. And the speed is faster with an attack speed of thousands of rounds per minute, which is 2.62 times that of the 730 system and three times that of the well-known American system. In addition, the barrel volume of the 1130 system is much larger than that of the 730 system, which means that the ammunition reserve of the 1130 is significantly higher than that of the 730, avoid the embarrassing situation of no ammunition in the fierce battle on the battlefield. The 1130 has also improved the accuracy of hitting the enemy. 1130 adopts the principle of large closed-loop fire control, which can continuously detect the specific values of enemy missiles. At the same time, it continuously calculates the distance and direction of the missile from the expected target, and continuously corrects its own artillery, which greatly improves the hit of multiple shells. The radar and photoelectric detection system of the 1130 system itself are also very good. The maximum exploration distance of the fire control radar is 20 kilometers, and the photoelectric system can detect targets within 6 kilometers. The combination of the two can lock 48 targets at a time. It has super strong multi-target detection and command artillery interception capabilities, and it can also automatically select the optimal interception path. In addition, the 1130 near defense gun is equipped with anti-explosive grenades and extremely powerful and stable armor-piercing projectiles, with a maximum range of more than 3,000 meters. This distance is extremely good for both low-altitude anti-ship missiles and land tanks. Big threat. For this reason, the 1130's radar and photoelectric systems have also been optimized to reduce maritime clutter and other infrared interference. It is worth mentioning that in order to improve the lethality of the 1130 near anti-aircraft, 
China has spent a lot of money and used very expensive tungsten core bullets as the 1130 near anti-aircraft shells. You must know that under the same caliber and scale, the armor-piercing capability of tungsten core missiles is much higher than that of ordinary steel missiles. Not only that, the heat resistance of tungsten steel is also very good. It can avoid the deformation of the projectile during the high-speed launch process, and ensure the accuracy of the projectile without false shots. This projectile can effectively intercept supersonic sea-skimming anti-ship missiles, and according to relevant data, the probability of successful interception is as high as 96%. The 1130 near defense gun fires 11,000 rounds per minute, about 183 rounds per second, and it costs 1,000 yuan to send a bullet. This also means that the 1130 will burn nearly 200,000 yuan per second, and the bullets fired in a minute are worth 1,000. 10,000 yuan. If you continue to shoot for one hour, it will cost 600 million. Such a money-burning war cannot be fought by a small country in its dreams. So to some extent, even if 1130 is exported to other countries, the navies of these countries may not be able to afford it. For the loading fleet, the near defense gun is a very critical existence. Generally speaking, once any suspicious aircraft, warship, etc. appear nearby, they can be instantly destroyed by the near defense gun to ensure their own safety. Of course, due to the advent of the 1130 close to air gun system, the Chinese Navy's overall capabilities of warships have been greatly improved, thus constructing the last protective net of Chinese aircraft carrier warships. Therefore, the practical significance of the 1130 close to air gun is very important. At present, the 1130 close-in gun system is not only installed on the Liaoning aircraft carrier, but even Chinese destroyers and frigates are equipped with this close-in gun rapid-fire system. Since then, the Liaoning ship escort will improve its close defense capabilities.